guys, this is Sal Quant. I just wanted to show you uh, my latest little project. I bought a Supermicro server. It's a V3 uh, Xeon dual server with 128 gigs of RAM off eBay. Um, and it doesn't boot. It's got some boot drives, but then I traced, try to figure out what the problem is. Um, I can boot from a USB stick, but um, it there's, there's no hard drives, there's no RAID card. So I thought maybe, hopefully, it's just an issue with the RAID card. So I just reinstalled the RAID card and I uh, took out um, an extra Ethernet card that was there because, um, frankly, the two built-in Ethernets is more than enough for me for home use and I don't need four Ethernet ports. So they're 10 gigabits, so probably just leave that. I'm waiting for the seller to respond, but meanwhile I'm going to try to do a... Uh, fix and hopefully this will work. So I've resecured the I've moved the the raid controller from the lower slot to the top and The front panel is connected to the raid. So there's no, unfortunately nothing I can do uh, That I know of um, if you guys know anything to, to connect to the built-in SATAs um, Because this whole I need I would need to change this whole panel because I think this panel is like it's kind of like set up for for the raid controller and it's an LSI, um, I think something like, oh, I've, got, I've got 3061 or something like that. Um, uh, I will update you in the actual comments on the, on the video. But uh, let's, let's see what happens. So hopefully it's going to recognize it because so far it hadn't recognized. Um, okay, turn it on. The blue light is on. Okay, and let's come up to the workbench here. And we can see that it's doing the IPMI. So what's happening? Is it... So it just initialized the VJ and then went dee 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 dee. So obviously couldn't recognize something. I'm not sure what that was. An Intel boot agent. And it's booting from the USB drive booting uh, Ubuntu USB so unfortunately I couldn't get any RAID controller up so I'm not sure what the problem is because uh, if that's not the problem then the RAID controller is dead means I would have to go back to the seller on eBay because he didn't say that the RAID controller is dead just a second 